a lot of people like a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but what about a delicious strawberry cheesecake? How about even a Snickers candy bar? All that, yes. Hard to resist. Yeah. <laughs> but would you believe everything we just mentioned? Well, they're flavors of beer, and one local brewery is actually blending what's coming out of their taps to create those unique flavors. In turn, they're attracting a different kind of beer lover. Saloon Door kind of came about just with it being like the rustic, vintage, kind of laid back environment. My goal here as running the tasting room is I want it to be a warm, inviting, comfortable environment. You can bring your kids, we have games. The snifter glass that we have right up there, um, I said, oh yeah, these are the different types of glasses. And someone thought I said Snickers. Then they're like, you have Snickers? I'm like, huh, maybe. And that's kind of how the whole little blend train kind of got caught on. The top ones I'd say would be the citrus vanilla or the dreamsicle. It literally tastes a little bit like that push-up pop that you used to have when you were a kid. And a lot of people walk in, they're like, ice cream. Oh, it's beer. <laughs> delicious. The PB&J is just how it sounds. It's the peanut butter stout and then the strawberry stout mixed together 50-50. Really, really good. Peanut butter and jelly, but in a beer. It's delicious. <laughs> Another goal was kind of to get more women in here, too, that aren't into beer, and it, it seems to really be catching on. The strawberry cheesecake, you just put the vanilla cream and then strawberry on top, and it literally tastes like strawberry cheesecake. Neapolitan, all of those, and it, they basically taste just like they sound. They are Unlike anything you've ever had. The orange peel is one we do where it's actually the pale ale with our citrus wheat. It just gives it that extra bump of citrus in there and like it's it just takes it to a whole nother level. I really love it. I think we have near 20 blends now. Sometimes two plus two is five. And I think these guys have hit on that formula where you can take a good beer, a good beer, and make a great beer. You just got to do it in a certain order. So with the nitros, when you're mixing nitros and regular, you know, CO2 type beers, you have to do a specific order and portion size. So it's very important on that note. Different aromas, different flavors, just by changing a couple ingredients and changing a couple styles. It's a lot of fun. It takes your 22 available beers and turns them into 50 or 60. It's limited only by your creativity. Yeah, it's something that you kind of have to get when you come into the brewery which kind of makes it special too. Hey, got to try that. How come we don't get those stories to do? How come we don't get to go do those stories? Right, exactly. <laughs> That's a good question because we're here on a Saturday um, Yeah, night. we're here That's on the why. weekends, yeah. Yeah, well, good if you want to check out Saloon Doors Brewing full blended menu, we put links at abc13.com and the ABC 13 News app.